Greetings from the Holy Hill. I am the Reverend Hugh Bartlett Jr., Rector of St. Anne's Anglican Church in New Providence, Bahamas. We are delighted that you have joined us. May we pray. O oh God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of Him who humbled Himself to share our humanity, Your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with You in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. I wish to share some today on the community meal. I want to ask you to pause your reflections here and read 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 17 to 34. The error of the Corinthian Christians is their approach to Holy Communion has provided us with this valuable lesson on the community meal. The most significant misdeed was that some who had enough to share and did not share with those who did not have. This not only highlighted the division in the congregation, but it was humiliating for those with nothing while others were drunk. Hence, Paul offered the teaching on communion that he had received as a model for the Corinthian church. He taught the Corinthians that Jesus took a loaf of bread and a cup on the night of his betrayal, blessed it and shared it with those of his disciples in his inner cycle as his body and the cup as his blood. After blessing each, that is the bread and the cup, they were told to do it in remembrance of Jesus. Paul taught that the Lord's Supper was a community meal that the believers should share, thus they should wait on each other before starting the meal. Secondly, Paul taught them that receiving Holy Communion was a faith statement. Whenever Christians eat the bread of Christ or drink the cup of His blood, we declare Jesus, His death, until He returns. Finally, we can note Paul's teaching on judgment, which is a direct response to the Corinthian Christians and the party attitude that they had toward the communion. Remember, some did not share their food and some were drunk, which means they were not discerning that the communion was the body and blood of Jesus. They were going to be judged because of their abuse of the community meal. The mention of judgment here should not act as a deterrent to us and to us going to communion as no one, even after self-examination, would be worthy of the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Holy Communion is offered as God's initiative and His extension of His grace to us, which each of us needs. Indeed, none of us are worthy of the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and all of us need His grace. I want to share just a voice of a hymn. 593 
in the CPWI hymnal. I am not worthy, holy Lord, that thou shouldst come to me. Speak but the word, one gracious word can set the sinner free. Amen. God bless you, strengthen you, and cause you to have a wonderful day.